Hello people, my name is Kevin and welcome to Wanna Watch a Movie, my YouTube channel where I react to movies and shows. Tonight I am watching the one and only The Thing, the 1982 horror classic. I somehow haven't seen this movie despite me being, you know, I'm, I like horror. I'm a, I'm a horror fan. You know what, I'm gonna add a little caveat to that. Um, I like horror, but I feel like I haven't seen a lot of like classic horror. I haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street. I haven't seen the original Scream. I haven't seen a lot of like the original like, you know, 80s, 70s, 90s horror classics. I haven't seen a lot of those. So I can do that for, for the channel, which would be really cool. I'd say I like horror because one of my favorite pieces of media ever is uh, this podcast called The Magnus Archives. And it's by far one of the best works of horror I've ever I've ever experienced. I even go so far as to say that it's one of the best works of narrative fiction I've ever seen. And coming from a guy who reads a shit ton of books and watches a fuck ton of movies and shows, that means something. Uh, what do I know about The Thing? I know it's an 80s movie. Um, I know it's got Kurt Russell in it. I remember my I, I remember some of my uh, some of my siblings and a friend of theirs were watching it in our living room a couple of years ago. Well, not a couple of years ago, like a decade ago or something. And I remember I was scared to watch it because I I didn't really like horror that at the time. I was scared. Uh, like you know, scary movies used to used to give me nightmares. But like you know, ever since I listened to the Magnus Archives, I kind of got over it. So what do I remember from that? What do I remember? I know there is an alien creature and it like turns into people. It turns into people and you can't tell who's who, who's a person and who's an alien. I think that's it. <sighs> what else do I know? What else do I know? Nothing else really, I think that's it. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, as usual, uh, please, you know, if this is the kind of content that you like, please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff share the video, and uh, if you really like this kind of stuff and you want to contribute to the channel, you can join my Patreon. i got a link in the description below. Uh, that'll give you access to a Discord server where you can talk with me about movies. Um, you can vote in polls to determine what I watch next. You get early access to my YouTube edits, and you get access to my full-length reactions if you want to see me, you know, react more to stuff. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get started with The Thing. Whoa. October would not be complete without at least one horror movie. Okay, Kurt Russell. Ennio Morricone. Love Ennio. Ennio is amazing. One of the greatest composers of all time. He's up there with like John Williams and Hans Zimmer. He's so fucking great. I do know that there's a famous scene, a famous moment of this thing, where like someone's John Carpenter. That's it. I was racking my brain before about who did this movie, who the director was. Flying Saucer. John Carpenter's. The thing. Antarctica, winter 1982. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, it's a helicopter. What is he looking for? A husky? They're not hunting it, are they? No! Wait, I think I think I saw the very beginning of this movie when I was with my, when I first I saw and I caught a little bit of this with my uh, years ago with my friend and my siblings. That's the alien, isn't it? In the dog. The dog is the alien. United States National Science Institute, Station 4. Bing bong! Ah, there's Kurt Russell. Chess wizard. Yep, early computers like this. Bishop to night four. Poor baby, you're starting to lose it, aren't you? My move. Rook to night six. Checkmate. <laughs> hey, dude, don't fuck up the computer like that. Shit. Well, this is gonna be a problem. I'm guessing the guys here at Station 4 are gonna stop the guy in the chopper and take the dog in, the alien in. Because of course they have to, otherwise there'd be no movie. What's he doing? Circling the camp. Who is he? Said Norge or something on the side. He's Norwegian. There's at least two guys there, right? Two people on that chopper. One guy's a shooter and the other's the pilot. Whoa. Hey, it's like, why do you even have a... Why do you even have a rifle in Antarctica in the first place, let alone like a sniper rifle like that. It! It! Oh shh! Did that just blow up his friend? The other guy? Come down, Trying to warn them. 
Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Fuck. I don't speak Norwegian, but I think I heard the word terror in there somewhere, or something that sounded like the word terror. Shit, shit. No, don't touch it, don't touch it. First goddamn week of winter. How many people are here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe? U.S. number 31 calling McMurdo. Urgent. Come in. Over. Yeah. Gotta call this in to someone. Nobody! Get a hold of somebody. Get a hold of anybody. We gotta report this mess. I haven't been able to reach shit in two weeks, and you want me to reach somebody. You can't reach, like, you know, the U.S. or anybody you don't have? Like, how? Oh, shit. Shot him right in the freaking eye. This guy could aim. Capitan was gonna get a chance to use his pop gun. Is it nothing but is it nothing but men here? I wanna go up. In this weather, winds are gonna let up a tad next couple of hours. A tad? An hour there, an hour back. I'll give you the lift. No problem. Forget it, Palmer. Hey, thanks for thinking about it though. Loaded with kerosene. I count fifteen cans. Fifteen cans of kerosene. I'm just letting you know we're we're taking a chance. Quit the griping, McCready. McCready. If you don't wanna fly, we don't fly. You really want to save those crazy Swedes, huh? Norwegian. Which way, Doc? Southwest! This movie is going to involve, like, almost all of these people being dead by the end of it, isn't it? Just a dog sitting there shouldn't be as, like, like nerve-wracking as it is. Also, the music, just the dun-dun, dun-dun. Like, it's, it's good. Like, sometimes less is more, you know? Stevie Wonder. Superstitions. Boom boxes, you know it's the 80s. Oh crap, we're in like the first person view of the thing, aren't we? Oh crap. Oh shit. He's so cute, but he's so scary. Oh crap, it's gonna infect the first person now, isn't it? I don't know who that was, whose shadow that was. I don't know anybody's name. Maul, what one of their name was, and McCready so far. Palmer was another one. Shit. The whole thing is just like, destroyed. What if there's more of it there? I think fire kills it. If I re if I remember, I mean I've seen clips of this movie over the, over the years because you know, let's face it, this is a very famous movie. Oh shit! Someone like barricaded themselves in here. Oh god! I should have checked like the content warnings. Oh fuck! I should have checked like the content warnings before I started this. Like this might be triggering or something. I mean, I can stand the sight of gore in, like, in movies, but I just don't know how bad it's gonna get. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. What the hell happened here? There's icicles everywhere. Whatever the, whatever happened here, it happened. It had to have happened, like, a little while ago, right? Anything? It's all in Norwegian. What are you doing, Doc? Could be important work. I want to take it back with us. Well, it's getting late. I'll check out the last few rooms. Not alone. Don't do anything alone. So the Doc and McReady, we know at least those two aren't, uh... Copper. I thought that was like a coffin or something. What'd they do, bore into the ice? Remains of some animal buried in the ice and they chopped it up, but where is it? That was the thing, that was the, oh shh. What is that, is that a man in there? Whatever it is, they burn it up in a hurry. So it was, they found this, the thing in the ice and it came alive and started infecting them. Wait a sec, so we don't know who... But this is a great thriller, mystery, tactic, like, don't know the identity of any... Shit. You know the dog is one of them, but you don't know who else is infected. God, it could be any of them. We found this. Oh. Oh, the smell, yeah, must be freaking rancid. Is it, like, purple right there? Blair? I'd like you to start an autopsy, right away. Blair? It could be any of them. Oh. Oh, the dog. Ah! Did you reach anybody yet? <laughs> okay, I was stupid and neglected to plug in my camera as I was watching this. So, my battery died a second ago. Got it plugged in now, so it should be okay. Hitting play now. Reach anybody? We're a thousand miles from nowhere, man. Well, stick to it, Windows. Windows? Oh, no, don't show me that. Ugh. Ugh. They're really showing all of it. Ugh. Well, what we got here is what appears to be, anyway, a normal set of internal organs. Ugh. Girl, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, everybody's 
just chilling now, and then there's screaming and running. Oh yeah, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. Clark, will you put this mutt with the others where he belongs? Others? What are you talking about? Oh, there are other dogs. Go ahead, what are you waiting for? The dogs are gonna know it's not really a dog, is it? Aren't they? Right. <sighs> this is so freaking creepy. Something crazy is gonna happen. Oh! Oh, oh that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh, that is, oh. Oh, that's gross. Ugh. Come on, dude, don't. Oh god, he's gonna die too. He's not gonna see it, is he, before it's too late. No, don't, oh god. They're all infected, aren't they? All the dogs are infected, aren't they? They're aliens now. I don't know what the hell's in there. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? That's what he said, now move! Flamethrower? Oh, cause he knows that's gonna work. Cause that's what they had to do with the other. Stay back. Stay back, what is it? Oh, that's gross. Oh. Oh, oh no, oh god. What are you saying no for, dude? What are you trying to stop him for? Oh, it just gets worse and worse. Oh wait, maybe the guy who was trying to stop him, maybe he's one of them. Burn, let it burn a little bit. I gotta wonder what happens when you run out of fuel for that flamethrower. The guy who tried to stop him. That has to be one of the an alien. I really thought they were gonna go like the Jaws route, like don't show the shark, but no, they're really going in the opposite direction. Like every time it's on screen, I don't want to see it. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, that is. I'm not gonna sleep well after this movie, am I? This is just difficult to look at. You see, what we're talking about here is an organism that imitates other life forms. It shape its own cells to imitate them. We got to it before it had time to finish. Or is that guy, that guy with the hat, he's, isn't he? Clark. Yeah. Clark. Did you notice anything strange about the dog, anything at all? No. It's him, isn't he? What was the dog doing in the rec room? He's just wandering around camp all day. You're saying to me the dog wasn't put in the kennel until last night? Right. How long were you alone with that dog? An hour and a half, maybe. He's on to him. What the hell are you looking at me like that for? I don't know, it's probably nothing. How do you test it? Not Shit. Some shit's gonna happen. Oh god, he's gonna kill him. What's that? It looks like something buried under the ice. It's the alien ship. And look that at that, they're planting the thermite, beginning. George. Whatever it was, it was bigger than that block of ice you found. How do you know it's thermite? Here. Pretty nasty out, Mac. 35 knots. I'm gonna go up anyway. He put on a cowboy hat in weather like this? In, in fucking Antarctica? <sighs> yep, that's an alien ship. Did they excavate all of that? There's no way they excavated all that and didn't like end up reporting it. They're gonna go near it? Okay, they're gonna walk on it, okay. Don't tell me they're gonna go in. Backscatter effect. Hundred thousand years old. That was where they dug it up, right? Crashes and this thing gets thrown out or crawls out and it ends up freezing in the ice. Is that Keith David? Happens all the time. That guy's in the community and Cloud Atlas. Love that movie, Cloud Atlas. You believe any of this voodoo bullshit, Blair? Charities to the gods, man. I mean, they talk to him because everything they know. The guy's just being, being an asshole. No, no, what do you disrespectful man been tossing his dirty drawers in the kitchen trash can? But now I want my kitchen clean, all right? Jerry free. How can it look like a dog? I don't know how. Because it's different than us. Because it's from outer space. What do you want from me? Ask him. You buy any of this, Blair? That thing about... The thing that the black kid is talking about. Like, why... Which one of you guys put that in the garbage? That was relevant, wasn't it? That was important, wasn't it? So this is just, what is this, a simulation or something? A simulation. A simulation complete. 
Ah, that's what happens. And it's creepy as fuck. Handy animation. Probably that one or more team members may be infected by intruder organism. 75%? What kind of computer program are you running, man, that tells you that? Projection, if intruder organism reaches civilized areas, entire world population infected 2,700 hours from, 27,000 hours from first contact. 27,000 hours. Okay, those are, okay, fine, those are our stakes. Okay, getting a gun, good. So this needs to be destroyed. And if not destroyed, it must be contained. The thing is, it's just me honest, not knowing who, not just not knowing who's infected, but also not knowing how many are infected. That guy Fuchs, he's infected, isn't he? Or maybe he's infected. Ugh, don't look at it, man. Yeah, you should. No, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Burn it all, burn it all, burn it all. Destroy it! No. Oh god, it's moving. Dude, please. No, no, no. No. Oh. Okay, that guy's gonna. That guy's gonna die. Oh, gross. Please notice, notice, notice. He's a goner. That guy's a goner. There's something wrong with Blair. He's locked himself in his room and he won't answer the door. So I took one of his notebooks from the lab. Yeah. It could have imitated a million life forms on a million planets. Now it wants life forms on Earth. It's getting cold in here, Fuchs. I haven't slept in two Wait a minute, Mac. It needs to be alone and in close proximity with a life form to be absorbed. They're not dead yet. Should have just said that, man. Should have. You bury the lead there a little bit. Also, being alone in close proximity like that. I gotta get some sleep. Ch -ch 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 oh god. Oh, there's a lot of blood here. Scream, dude. Oh god, I'm not gonna like what I'm gonna see, aren't I? Oh. It's Bennings. Okay, we know it is Bennings here, but we don't know if it's just Bennings. Bennings was right there, Mac. I swear to God, it had a hold of him. Come on, get the, get the, get the. Fire... thing. Ah, uh, fuck. He's dead now. And test out everybody. How do you test it? Like, just put something hot on them or something? Have everybody touch a candle or something? That's good, yeah, burn them all, burn them all. Alright, step back! Flamethrower, that's what it's called. It's called a flamethrower. I don't know why that word wouldn't come to me before. You sure that's all of them? There is nothing left! Except one of them. Or, or some of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think ten was there. How many did they start off with? I can't find Blair. You go on, I'll be in a minute. Is McCready the leader? He, I kind of, if, I kind of feel like he is the main character here. But is he like the leader? So like, what's his role? Is he like, he doesn't strike me as a scientist. He's definitely a pilot. I know that. Blair? Shit! What did he do? What did he do Blair? to the chopper? Did he break it? Did he break something? He broke something in there. Super important, so they can't escape. Shit! He smashed up some of the chopper pretty good, child. Go see if he got to the tractor. Do you know if that was Blair for sure? Oh, he's destroying the radio room. Stop him. You need to stop him right now. Because if you can't communicate, you'll never get out of here alive. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Come on, man. You don't want to hurt anybody. You're stopping. It's means of escaping. Hang on, wait. Sorry, is Blair the doctor? It's him too, isn't it? Oh crap. Maybe it's still the dogs are still. Just go through everybody, test and see who is and isn't. That's a tough thing to come by these days. Watch Clark and watch him close, do you hear me? Somebody in this camp ain't what he appears to be. Right now, that may be one or two of us. By spring, it could be all of us. So how do we know who's human? If I was an imitation, how would you know if it was really me? Uh, everybody's looking at each other suspiciously. Is this some kind of test, Doc? Possibly. I've been thinking about a blood serum test. 
could take a sample of each person's blood, could mix it with uncontaminated blood. I suppose if there's a reaction, we'd know who isn't human. Or everybody just touches a candle. Get a little bit of a burn if you're human. We need Blair's help. He's the only one who knows what this organism is too far gone, of. Fuse. Why do the complicated blood serum test? Just get, get a candle. Oh. Gary! Hey, you guys! Come here! Somebody got to the blood! What? Somebody opened it, closed it, and then locked it. Great. Well, who's got access to it? I guess I'm the only one. Ugh. And I got the only key. Who else could have used that key? I just give it to Copper whenever he needs it. Could anybody have gotten it from you, Doc? As soon as I'm finished, I return it right away. I suppose somebody could have lifted it off me. Oh, that's come right. on. Not I'm accusing everybody. Hey, you stupid, man! No! No! Hey, no! Hey, no! Hey, no! Hey, no! Paranoia is setting in. Put that down. No. I'll put this right to your head. You guys gonna listen to Gary? You gonna let him give the orders? I mean, he can be one of those things. Gary, you don't want to hurt anybody. Right on the floor. Maybe he is, maybe. Oh, this is so freaking stressful. I don't know about copper. I give you my word, I did not go near that blood. But I guess you'll all feel a little easier if somebody else was in charge. Norris, I can't see anybody objecting to you. Who the hell is Norris? I'll take him. Like hell you will. Be somebody a little more even-tempered, child. The guy who just pulled a knife, probably. Okay. If you were all these things, then you'd just attack me right now. So some of you are still human. This thing doesn't want to show itself. It wants to hide inside an imitation. It'll fight if it has to. But it's vulnerable out in the open. If it takes us over, then it has no more enemies. Nobody left to kill it. And then it's one. It's one. Yeah. There's a storm hitting us in six hours. We're gonna find out who's who. All right, Doc, Gary, and Clark, move over there away from the others. Norris, you and Childs, shoot him up with morphine. Tie him down in the rec room and watch him. Fuchs, you start working on a new test. I need Doc's help. Yeah, you don't want to drug me. Mac, I'm not a prisoner! Why just those three? Test everybody. <sighs> don't like needles. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of record. We still have nothing to go on. What's up with this shirt? That has to be relevant somehow, right? One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. Nobody trusts anybody now. We're all very tired. RJ McCready, helicopter pilot, US outpost number 31. This is so freaking stressful, man. Another split diopter shot right there. If a small particle of this thing is enough to take over an entire organism, then everyone should prepare their own meals. And I suggest we only eat out of cans. I thought of that. Maybe he's one of them. <sighs> the paranoia here. Okay, I don't think he is one of them now. Who's that? Oh fuck, maybe that- oh, never mind. So we know it's not him. He isn't one of them. Dude, don't go anywhere- don't go anywhere alone. Oh, shh. Anybody see Fuchs? Shit, 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 shit. Somebody blew out a fuse in the lab. Lights were out in there for an hour. Any one of us could have gotten to him. We gotta find him. Nalls, why don't you come with me and we'll look outside. Palmer, you and Windows, check the inside. I ain't going with Windows. I'll go with Child. Hey, fuck you, Palmer! <laughs> All right, cut the bullshit! Windows, you come with us. Norris, you stay here. Any of them move, you fry them. You hear anything, anything at all, you cut loose on the sirens. And everybody watch whoever you're with. Maybe he's... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Fuck, 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 fuck. This is so stressful. No one try... Don't travel in pairs. Travel in groups of three, at least. Hey, Blair, have you seen Fuchs? Is he dead in there? Funny things. I hear funny things Blair. out here. Have you come across Fuchs? It ain't Fuchs. Oh, there's a noose there. We don't know if he's one of them. Come on, there has to be... I'm all right. I'm much better. You gotta let me come back inside. Hold it. How many flares do they have? Is it Fuchs? Yeah. Flare! Maybe he tried to burn it. Maybe he burned himself before it could get to him. You go inside. Tell the others we found Fuchs. We'll be in as soon as we can. Where are we going? Up to my shack. Because when I left yesterday, I turned the lights off. Oh, shit. I don't know if McReady is one of them either, though. Maybe he is one of them, and he's just he's assimilating oh, the other guy now. 40, 45 minutes. We better start closing all the outside doors. Shit, this is... Hey! Come here! Oh fuck. We don't know if he's one of them or not. Close that door. I cut him loose on the line up by his shack. We were up checking around his place. Found this. I don't think he saw me find it. He's one of them. When do you think it got to him? You said guys were missing and windows. Where were you? In Palm Where were you? It's gonna be McCready, isn't it? What if we wrong? 
something about him. Wait till we're wrong. Supply window. We got no choice now. Damn it. He's got the keys. Jesus Christ. Anyone messes with me and the whole camp goes. Oh shh. Why do they have dynamite? Come on, child. Burn me. Put those torches on the floor and back off. Shh. Okay, move the flare away from the dynamite. Where's the rest? It's cool, man. I mean, it's cool, man. Come on. Anybody touches me, then we go. Oh shit. Now nobody gets out of my sight. Okay, I feel like this is like a an appropriate level of paranoia. Oh wait, I know this scene. I know, I think I know what's about to happen. Remember a curly jury that anybody could have got some of my clothes and stuck them up the furnace? Wait a minute, we got different later over here. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna, ugh. I'm a real light sleeper, child. Shit. Okay, I know what's about to happen. Oh, oh that's gross. Burn it, burn it now, burn it now, burn it now, burn it now, burn it, burn it, burn it. Oh, that's gross. Oh. Hey, you know how they did that? You know what that is? What? Melted plastic and microwave bubble gum. Oh, please don't. Make me stop looking at this. Stop having that on screen. Oh. I want to get the last little bit there. Get that one, get that one. It's getting away. Oh, oh gross. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Dude, dude, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding. Okay, good. You and Palmer, let everybody down real tight. What for? For your health. Let's, let's do what Max says. He wasted Norris pretty quick, didn't he? That's close enough, Clark. You ain't tying me up. Then I'll have to kill you, child. Then kill me. Hardcore. I mean it. Shit, 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 shit. If it's the paranoia that gets them and not the alien. Fuck. We're gonna draw a little bit of everybody's blood. We're gonna find out who's the thing. Maybe every part of him was a whole. Every little piece was an individual animal. Why not just put the hot needle on everybody's body? Burn a little bit. Ugh. Just put the hot needle on everybody's hand. Burn a little bit of their skin. You gonna test yourself too, man? Okay, Windows is in the clear. He's good. he's okay. Now I'll show you what I already know. It's a crock of shit. Let's try the dock and Clark. Now Clark. Shit, Clark was just a And Clark was human, huh? Which makes you a murderer, don't it? Palmer now. Doesn't prove a thing. You were the only one that could have got to that blood. We'll do you last. Oh. Get away from him. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh. Holy fuck. Oh. Burn it. Dude, burn it. Oh. 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 That took way too long. Gotta kill Windows now too. Oh, okay. Yeah, blow it up. Yeah, you have to kill Windows now too, because he's infected too. Okay, we still know about Childs or Gary. Those are the only two people we don't know yet. So finish the test and and uh, Mal or Mal or uh, I can't remember his name. Nalls. Okay. <sighs> There's only like 20 minutes left of this movie. Okay, Childs is good. Set him free. He might be somewhere else also. He might be someone else here. And when you find the time, I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking couch. There's no way it ends there. They have to do like repeat tests or something, and they can't like leave each other's leave each other alone. Have to give Blair the test. If he tries to make it back here and we're not with him, burn him. Maybe Blair escaped. Shit. See. The door's open. Shit. 
you dig out? I'm not gonna like this, am I? Hey Blair, you down there? Is that a fuel canister right there? Oh shh. Is that part of the alien ship? It's a ship of some kind. He stole the parts from the helicopter. Where was he trying to go? Any place but here. So for all we know, he's already assimilated the others. He's already assimilated Childs and Gary or what was that? I think I saw Childs outside the main entrance of the camp. Shit. Oh fuck. The power out, they're gonna freeze to death. We got back inside and blew the generator. Six hours, it'll be a hundred below in here. It wants to freeze now. It's got no way out of here. It just wants to go to sleep in the cold until the rescue team finds it. What can we do? Whether we make it or not, we can't let the thing freeze again. Maybe we'll just warm things up a little around here. They gotta destroy it. We're not getting out of here alive. But neither is that thing. Some of you got out of there in time. It's a fucking big explosion. Nice throw, also. So they all know they're gonna die now. Molotov cocktails. Molotov cocktails work. Anytime I had a problem and I threw a Molotov cocktail, boom, right away, I had a different problem. This is exactly what must have happened with the Norwegian. Generator room. After this, it's over. They're, they know they're gonna die. Is that like melting ice there? Is that water? Generator's gone. Any way we can fix it? It's gone, McCready. Whoever could have fixed it is probably dead by now. We gotta bring this whole place right down into the ice. Gary, plant yours in the old storage room. No, it's down by the generator. So you, neither, none of you will know if the others have been assimilated or not. Don't separate. Why do you all have to like, you know, go off on your own where you might get, you know, infected? I know when you're in a horror movie, you make bad decisions, but like, McCready is supposed to be the smart dude here. Shit. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's gross. Oh. What are you seeing, Nulls? Where's that light coming? The fire? Shit, 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 shit. <sighs> is there a jump scare about to come? Greedy must be freezing to death right now. Where's Childs? Shh. You the only one who made it? Not the only one. We don't know if he's. Did you kill it? Where were you, Childs? I thought I saw Blair. I went out after him, got lost in the storm. We don't know if either one of them is. The fire's got the temperature up all over the camp. Won't last long, though. Neither will we. How will we make it? Maybe we should. I don't think we're in much shape to do anything about it. What do we do? Why don't we just wait here for a little while? See what happens. <laughs> That's how it ends, isn't it? <sighs> that was terrifying. What do I know here? I know John, John I know, uh, 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 Kurt Russell, obviously. I know Keith David. I mean, I'll say that I know. Nope. Don't know any of these people, any of these other, uh, any of the other actors. This music puts my teeth on edge, which, you know, good job, Ennio Morricone. Based on the story, Who Goes There by John Campbell Jr. I have to read the story after this. I usually watch credits until the, uh, until the credits start rolling, just because, like, I like to see who, uh, you know, who did the editing, who did the music, who did all the cool stuff. Special effects by Roy Arbogast. I mean... It's off to you, man. Like, the special effects in this were excellent. But, like, seriously, the special effects here, they really hold up. Okay, I'm gonna stop it here. Okay, that movie is going to be in my dreams for a while. No, in my nightmares. Ugh. That was just... I mean, excellently, like, really well... A very well-written, very well-constructed movie. But... Ugh. Okay. Because... Okay, again, like I said way at the beginning, that like, my, uh, 
the standard I have set for horror is the Magnus Archives. Let's assign entities to this. There's the stranger, the fear of an unfamiliar person, the fear of, you know, not them is definitely there because, you know, it looks like a person, but it is not a person. That's definitely an element to this. The corruption, the fear of decaying and rotting and disgusting stuff, that's definitely there too. And I felt that a lot because just, ugh. Like a lot of the horror in this was just like, like just for me was like dreading when it comes back on screen. What else was there? There was, I feel like there was a little bit of the flesh there, which is like the fear of like gore and the fear of, fear of like, you know, meat and stuff. And like, I feel like there was a little bit of that there because you know, there's a lot of blood there too. A little bit of the extinction, like the fear of a future without us, the future with the, without humanity. The, sorry, the extinction is, uh, like you know the world after hum after humans and I f there's a little bit of fear there too for that like if this thing manages to kill all of if this gets loose and kills everyone at the beginning first of all that computer program that was able to like project that it kills people what was the world population in 1982 4.52 billion people according to the world bank and he said in 27,000 hours that's 1125 days that's that's only about three years so you're telling me that this thing if it gets loose it would kill every human being on the planet within three years, in about three years. Oh, man, yeah, I could see that happening, honestly. Like, like that projection, like, would make sense to me because, like, once it assimilates into a person, I mean, you can't tell because it acts like a person, it looks like a person. Oh, man, that's scary as shit. And he had the right idea, like, destroying the radio equipment. As horrific as that must be, as that was for the people that were, for the people at, at the station, he had the right idea. This thing absolutely cannot get loose because it's about more than just you. It's for the greater good. I mean, I say that jokingly, but yeah, it really is for the greater good. Shut it! I'm trying to think if I have any other thoughts about this. I'm sure there are plenty of people who have like overanalyzed this movie uh, to like try to figure out like who was who and who wasn't. Who, sorry, who wasn't who was human and who was an alien. But like you don't know if Ch I'm fairly sure that McCready wasn't wasn't an alien. And like I feel like they want you to think that Childs was an alien though because he was off on his own for a while. So he could have been. Wait a sec. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Was the coat he was wearing when like Nalls saw him running off? was that the same coat he was wearing at the end because if the coat was torn up then it was probably not then he if the coat was torn up then he was probably uh taken by the alien but if it wasn't maybe he maybe it really was him either they're both aliens and they're both going to sleep and they're both just gonna wait for the rescue team to you know get there um either mccready is human because i don't think there's any way that he that he was like it didn't have time to it didn't have time to assimilate him either mccready is human and child was a was an alien in which case shit or they were both human and they're both gonna freeze to death in which case i mean good they killed it hopefully hopefully maybe they both they were both human and it survived anyway that would be the most like shitty ending possible because like in the end it was for nothing <sighs> i can see why this is uh one of the uh considered like one of the masterpieces of horror uh of horror, of horror movies it was ex it was a very well done horror movie but still like just ugh, disgusting it was disgusting it was disgusting ugh. i really hope i don't i really hope this doesn't make its way into my dreams because i don't need that in my life man i really don't need that <sighs> what else did i say what else did i say <laughs> Think of something smart. Think of something smart. I already talked about the music. Ennio Morricone, like the very simple boom boom. Less is more like that, and I mean it sets you on edge. You don't need the music to put you on edge because the situation is already tense enough as it is. I guess more or less it. What would I give a set of ten? Hmm. I give it an eight. Eight out of ten. It was great. It was a good movie. Also, I just realized there were no female characters in there. It was all guys. Huh. Eighties. I'm also well aware. I'm also aware that there is a 2011 
Okay, I, I know this was originally a 1950s movie, but then like they remade it in the 80s and they remade it again in 2011. Is that worth watching? Is that good? Is the, is the 50s movie good? Is the 2011 one good? Let me know. Um, if, it's worth, if it's worth watching, I might do it for the channel. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, as usual, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, whatever. Got my got a link in my got a link to my Patreon in the description below. Uh, you got Discord server where you can chat with me about movies, uh, polls where you can vote on the next movie, um, <clears throat> get early access to my YouTube edits, and see my full reactions. If that's your thing, go ahead on over there. Thank you so very much for watching, and as usual, there is more stuff coming soon.